Here's the video for wire sculpture techniques. Materials to use, um, if you have extra wire at home, that's great. Otherwise, your colorful wire and your plain wire. Pencils and markers are great for wrapping the wire. If you have pliers, that's great. Otherwise, scissors work just fine. Um, pliers sometimes have both the cutter part and the gripper part, or sometimes they're just cutting or just gripping. So just see what you have. Um, but scissors can be used to cut or do bending as well. Um, a lot of the sculpture, you're just using your hands to bend and shape the wire. You could shape it into a spiral. You could bend it into different shapes. Like if, if you want a sharper corner, like a square. You can also use pliers to get like a little bit sharper, more precise corner if, um, if you want. Just a little bit more precise than hands. You could create different lines like zigzag or wave. Straightening out the wire with your hands or a table edge can help get any bumps out. Um, Wrapping the wire around a pencil is a good way to kind of make a cool coil or spiral form. And wiggle the pencil back out. If you scrunch it down, it kind of makes a more solid or thicker line weight coil to use. Sometimes it gets stuck on the pencil, so just Pinch it in the center and then twist your hands in opposite directions and that helps loosen it and get it off of the pencil. You can then pull the coil apart to make a corkscrew. Only cut off pieces you know you don't need. Um, a twist is kind of you bend, fold the wire over and just kind of keep twisting over and over and over. Makes a nice loop on the end. That loop could be helpful in standing or attaching. You can use that loop as like a hook and eye. So I made a little hook and just hooked it in that eyelet. And that's a good way to make something attach. You can do a double twist and twist two sides together and make like a thicker line twist. Um, braiding, you would want to smooth out your wire, fold it over. You basically need three strands. So I just cut cut off a section and twisted it on for my third strand. And when you're attaching, try to make a nice clean attachment. So I'm trying to twist it nice and clean there. And I have my three strands ready. Sometimes taping it down can kind of help hold it while you get started or trying to attach it to something. And then it's right into the middle and then left into the middle right into the middle, left into the middle. I'm just alternating which one goes into the middle. And then I usually, once it gets started, I'll lift it up and then start braiding it by hand. And then we have a cool braid and a thicker line weight. This is a simple attachment where you twist and then fold over. So it kind of makes a cleaner attachment point when you fold that twist over. It's less clunky. Here I'm working on making a heart shape trying to get that part to pinch there. Using scissors or pliers, you can get a tighter point by pinching it together. And just forming and bending, flattening against the table. And what I'm doing here is I'm making a very simple hook where I just kind of wrap and make a little hook that way. It's not a very secure attachment, but it holds the shape and you can trim that little extra piece off if you need. So it is an attachment, a way of attaching if you want. You can use wire to wrap around the wire. So the colorful wire you could use as wrapping. 
around. You could cinch it together to make a more solid color at one point. Um, here I kind of was experimenting with making a person and I made twists and joints where like a human hinge point would be like knees, your ankle, hip, elbow <clears throat> to kind of help my person move and here's the finished example. I cleaned it up a bunch. If you have a piece of wood and stapler it's a really easy way to make your sculpture stand up. I have thicker points at the knees that can count as my thick line weight. My attachment points are pretty clean. I have a thinner wire I found for the hair. And also the colorful wire can count as thin wire. So now I'm just going through and cleaning up any little, a little bumps and making it smooth and look good. And then I'm going to set up my final artwork so I can take a picture. And then I would tape up my artist statement, turn it in, and I'm done.